Hey there, Fenville family. This is Miss Ruffner. I am the freshman English teacher at the high school. You might have seen me in one of the earlier videos. Um, today I wanted to give you some advice to help address some fears that you might have about going to the high school. Um, if I think back to my experience when I was in your shoes going into high school, um, one of the big fears that I had was, am I going to fit in? What if I don't fit in? That's always really scary, right? You're going into this new building with new people. Um, and my advice to kind of deal with that fear, it's very simple, get involved, okay? I have some examples on this paper about ways you can get involved at the high school. There's art, there's clubs, there's sports, um, you can volunteer, there's so many things. There's choir, um, and I think it's really important that when you start your freshman year, you get involved, whatever that looks like. You want to find the people that, that you click with and that you vibe with and and spend time with them um, and get involved in these different opportunities. That made all the difference for me. I actually am a giant nerd here and I have an artifact from my involvement in high school. This is my swim cap. Um, as you can see, I was a Hawkeye. I know, I know. I think I'm a Black Hawk deep down though. Um, but I, I joined the swim team when I was a freshman and that really had a huge impact on my whole high school experience. I, I kind of became a family with my swim team. Um, and that was really special. Um, because of that, I had a support system in place. So when things were hard, if I was struggling in class or if I had any kind of social drama, um, I had my, my team to back me up. And that was really important. So whatever it looks like for you, whether you're athletic or if you're artistic, whatever you are passionate about, there's something at the school that you can get involved with and that can make all the difference. Um, I think the biggest thing is connection and getting involved in the opportunities at the high school that's how you're going to be connected to the community and that can really make all the difference. The last thing I want to show you because I'm still a giant nerd here, I actually have my planner from high school. You can see the year 2013. That's actually when I graduated. Um, I just wanted to share this with you. Having a planner is super, super important in high school. Um, keeping track of your assignments, when things are due, when there's big events coming up, super helpful. It's the best way to stay organized. So. They have planners that the high school um, can give to you if you want one. Definitely use it. Um, and if you don't use a paper planner, you can always use Google, whatever stuff you have on your phone, that can be super helpful. So I guess I have two pieces of advice, really in summation, get involved and stay organized. Use that planner. Um, you guys are gonna have so much fun. High school is amazing. You have nothing to worry about. You have an amazing group of people that are gonna be taking care of you through these next four years myself included. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see you in the fall. Enjoy the rest of summer. Hi, eighth graders. This is Mr. Anursma. I'll be your history teacher next year in the ninth grade. In this short video, I want to take just a minute to address some of the fear and anxiety, some apprehension that you might be feeling about uh, going into the high school in the fall. First of all, that's totally normal. Um, it's a new experience. Uh, but I am confident that you will find that your ninth grade teachers are all good people who care and who want you to succeed. So I can promise you that I will do my very best to be kind and to be patient. Uh, and what I'm going to ask in return from you um, is that you do your best to be honest, accountable, willing to try, kind, and scholarly. Uh, we're in this together. We all have the same goal for you to be successful in the ninth grade and to stay on track for graduation um, in your senior year. So looking forward to the fall, looking forward to seeing you all in room seven, and um, that's all I have to say about that. Hello class of 2024. I'm Miss Burnaby. I just wanted to take another moment and welcome you into the high school. The transition to high school can sometimes be a little bit scary and can be a little bit challenging. My encouragement to you is that you seek help whenever you feel like you are struggling, that you seek assistance, not only from your classmates, but from your teachers as well. Our goal is to help you have a successful year, not only in terms of academics, but in terms of your experiences at the high school. We are here to help you in whatever way possible. So please reach out to us. Have conversations with your teachers, especially if you are struggling with the material that you're trying to learn. They are all there willing to put in the extra time and effort 
and willing to match everything that you are also putting in on your end. Always try your best. One of the things that you will hear me talk about in my classroom is the power of yet. When we say I can't do, or I can't understand, or I don't know, we limit ourselves to our ability to grow. I challenge all of my students to change those words and say, I don't understand this yet, or I can't do this yet, or I don't know yet. The important thing is that we continue to learn, and sometimes that requires us to come a little bit out of our comfort zone, but that's a good place to be. That means that we're growing and we're learning. So the biggest thing that I would encourage you to do coming into the high school is be open, be honest, be friendly, and always seek help when you need it. The staff at the high school, whether it be your freshman teachers, uh, your administrators, your school, your student success coordinators, we are all here to help you and to help you have a successful year. So best of luck, and I can't wait to meet you all. Bye. Hello, new ninth graders. This is Mr. Propes rocking my coronavirus haircut, which hasn't been cut since January. So next time you see me, will probably be a lot shorter. But anyhow, that's not what you're here for. You're here for uh, more transition advice about uh, bridging the gap between eighth grade to ninth grade. And specifically, I guess we are uh, going to speak on the topic of ninth grade fears. Now, um, uh, in my, in my uh, 15 years in teaching with Fenville, this is fears have usually fallen into the following categories. Um, not being ready for the rigor of ninth grade, not being ready for the rigor of ninth grade. In other words, you're going to step into your ninth grade classes and you realize I am not ready. So we'll talk about that. And then the other one I think is, um, uh, all the fears that you might have about the, the older students and the teachers. So let's talk about, um, let's talk about these in reverse order now. All your teachers are great. They're going to love you. They're going to take care of you. Um, and yeah, the other thing too, is to be honest, most of the upperclassmen, I'm not, I'm not saying this to be mean, but most of the upperclassmen are so busy worried about their own stuff, graduating their new classes, um, and things like that, that they're just simply not, they're not really going to pay much attention to you in a negative way, in a negative way, because they're just too busy. They got things to do. Uh, you're the last thing on their mind. The thing uh, the people, the upperclassmen that already know you, older cousins, family members, whatnot, uh, siblings, they're the ones that are probably going to give you the hardest time. And even then, it's going to be like a little bit of a razzing, maybe, maybe, like, hey, there's my little cousin, hey, here's my little brother, sister, whatever. And then after that, you're going to be cool. So I wouldn't worry about that. Um, the number one, the number one enemy for incoming ninth graders is this. Uh, maturity maturity uh doing weird things that were kind of cool in middle school uh those might not be so cool anymore in the high school with your teachers with the upperclassmen uh that's the 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 quickest way i think to get yourself noticed and maybe not the best way is to act immature um and rude so when you come into the high school listen we're all people just like you um, you wouldn't want somebody coming up to you doing something weird or rude. Uh, you wouldn't like that. You'd be like, Hey, that's weird. That's rude. So as long as, uh, you can avoid doing those things, I think you're going to do great. And the last thing, then let's get back to the rigor. Are you ready for the pace of the high school the amount of homework, um, the tests? I mean, you should expect to have your first test two weeks into school. Uh, for some of you, I would expect to have homework, maybe on the first, second, or third day of high school, um, and it's going to be due. So you need to be ready for that. And I think that all comes down to a personal decision of who's in charge of my learning, who's in charge of my education. It's not the teacher, it's not your friends, it's not your parents, it's you. Uh, and uh, if you want uh, to be successful, the quicker, and the sooner that you realize like, hey, I got to take care of my stuff, that this isn't the responsibility of anybody else but me, 
um, the, the, the sooner you're going to find that you're having success. The students that own their education um, find success sooner and uh, they stay on pace to graduate. And um, yeah, so we don't want anybody falling behind. We're here to help you. Um, but yeah, so just be polite, be respectful, be yourself. Uh, come ready to work, come ready to own your uh, education and be held accountable for that. Um, but also come with an, an attitude like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have fun in, in, in a mature way and it's going to be good, okay? Uh, that's what I got for you. It's going to be a good time, all right? I'm already looking forward to, uh, to seeing you in the fall if, if the coronavirus cooperates. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome to your freshman year and congratulations on making it this far. I know that we will miss you at the middle school, but I'm so proud of how far you've come and how hard you've worked to get there. I know that high school is going to be a little bit different for you, but just remember it's okay to ask for help. In fact, most successful people do ask for help and they're not afraid to do so. And don't forget to come back and visit and tell us how well you're doing.